guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be trying out this new skin trend which is called yoga skin I feel like every year there's some type of trend that does come out I mean I haven't I don't feel like it's a trend trend I've seen some people talk about it my phone. I'm sorry if you can hear some noise in the background that's the pressure cooker going off downstairs so I apologize for that before we jump into the video I'm gonna do my post notification shout out and I think today's one's gonna go to Jahan V Bizesun. I hope I said that right, but thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment. And yeah, I'm just putting something on my lips because they're dry. As always, I believe a person called Sarah Hill started this trend. And it's just the soup, the simplest thing. She's a makeup artist, yoga skin creator, and she has this little video that's saved on YouTube. If you type in yoga skin, it's the first video that comes up. She literally uses four products, mix it in her hands, and massages it all over the skin. So she's got, she's used a, I have slightly different products, so I think I've only got one that's similar, but it's okay, it's all good. Um, so she uses a light to medium coverage foundation, a drop of facial oil, so I have the Kiehl's one, the Daily Reviving Concentrate, I believe she used that in the video as well, so one drop of this, kind of like a strobe cream, so this Bobbi Brown one is almost like a strobe cream. The final one which she mentioned that is optional is some glow drops, I don't know, I feel so oblivious to this. This is not a tutorial, I'm just testing this yoga skin trend out okay don't get don't get it twisted out here on car before i see some weird comments down below my skin is bare we're gonna start mixing all of these products i mean i don't have any moisturizer i didn't see her use any moisturizer in the video so i'm just gonna start mixing the product to be honest but i guess it's to give like really like that come almost like sweat like skin but it's not sweaty sweaty it's like the, it's, it's a little bit humid you know I think it's just to get that nice light reflection in the skin just to get an overall nice glow but it still looks really natural you guys know I'm all for natural skin lately so yeah let's try this out so she uses a sheer foundation first I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury one this is the light wonder in the shade 9 pop some she used a lot of foundation to be honest. We're then going to use some Kiehl's Daily Concentrate. Like so. This is my Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm. This is the Golden Glow one, so we're going to put a little pump of this. Then we have the Laura Geller Dew Dream Mind Gilded Honey. This stuff is amazing one drop of this okay maybe two all right we're gonna mix this oh my god i don't even know if this is gonna be a match for me it's gone like in between my fingers so we're gonna warm it warm it up warm it up and she says to really massage the skin to increase blood flow and really like help plump the skin and absorb the products oh my god look at my hands okay She really massages this into the skin. I thought this would look really bad on me, but it's not. Like, I thought it would look almost like metallic. Hmm. She does put them under the eyes as well. To be honest, I'm not mad at this. I think she used in the video, she says to conceal any parts you want to, um, but I think I'm gonna skip that step. I don't feel like I need concealer, maybe a little bit under my eyes. So I'm gonna take some of my Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer and just with my finger, I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes just for some brightness. 
you want to try this trend. I guess I'm doing my own twist on it. Oh my god, I actually like this. Especially since my skin has been really dry. I think my skin's loving this. This is actually quite nice. Oh. So I'm going to take a little bit of powder. I'm actually going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder because it still has like a nice glow. This is in the shade Medium Tan. Just set under my eyes. She used a cream blush, so I'm going to use my Rosie, by Rosie for Autograph cream blush. Right, I think that's the skin basically. This is your yoga skin. As you can see, it's super super glowy so if you're like really oily skin i don't know if this is for you i don't know if she recommends it for all skin types i'm not sure about that but personally i feel like this is really oily but then sometimes oil on the skin for oily people is a good thing because it kind of tells your skin that there's oil there you don't need to produce any more so it depends on the person i guess but i'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back alright guys i'm back oh my god i'm actually not mad at this this looks so like summer skin like it's so natural so glowy i mean i to me this is just like a glowy skin tutorial but i don't know why it's called yoga skin maybe it's giving that kind of effect that you've just gone and had a little run you know <laughs> i don't know but it's definitely very glowy all over um i've just set a little bit under my eyes and i don't know would i wear this again i think i would and what I really like about these this Kills oil, it helps to protect your skin against pollution, which, to be honest, a lot of dirt gets on your face when you go out and you clean your face with a bit of toner. Like, try it. Take some toner on a cotton band and clean your face after a long day. Like, there's a lot of dirt that goes on your skin off, um, outside from outside, so this oil is really nice. But yeah, I'm, do I approve of this trend? I think, I think I have to. No, honestly, guys, on a serious note, this is really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think. Just a little close up. Yay or nay? I've just put a bit of mascara on, filled my brows in roughly. <laughs> look really messy, to be honest. I think I would recommend this technique to you guys. Like, if you want really nice, glowy skin, just a bit of evening out with the foundation. You only need a little bit, to be honest. I put quite a lot because there was a lot on my hands. But I really like how everything's sunk into my skin. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing foundation or anything like that. So, I don't know. Overall, this is a big thumbs up from me. If you do try it, let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not? Did you look like a grease ball? Do I look like a grease ball? That's the real question. Hmm. A lot of times where I think I'm popping, but people tell me I look like a grease ball and I need to powder up. So just be careful with that. Um... But I think this is nice. This is doable. Like it's not overly greasy. And if it is too much, you can always powder a little bit more, like more than I did. Overall, like I said, I kind of like it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you. I shall see you. I can't speak. I shall see you in my next video. Bye.